Welcome everyone. Today's Tuesday, May 5th, 2015, just quarter to 12. This is Chief Analyst Ryan Fox here at Options XO giving you today's daily market update. Let's talk about today's announcements and the results already this morning. Early this morning at around you know 2.30, 5.30, we had some announcements for the Aussie dollar. Uh, looks like negative trade balance, uh, negative 1.32 billion lower than forecast negative 0.98 billion we also see cash rate coming in as forecasted at two percent uh and there was also uh this that was part of the rate statement from the royal uh bank of australia uh we also see unemployment change for the spanish side on the euro high impact announcement they're very positive result so we see less unemployment in spain this is good for the euro it's going to improve the euro uh we saw a little bit that that this morning we also see construction pmi for the pound coming in negative at 54.2 so pounds going to be hurting we also see announcements coming up a uh, trade balance for the canadian dollar and also u.s dollar followed by uh, non-manufacturing ism pmis for u.s dollar final service BMI. Uh, also, economic optimism reports coming from the IBD uh, and also price index uh, for the, the Kiwi. And also later on, even in the night times, we have uh, unemployment, uh, the employment change quarterly and unemployment rate for the New Zealand dollar. So, New, so Kiwi, Aussie is going to be very, very interesting later on in that evening. If we take a look at the quote list, we can see biggest changes for today. If we Take a look at the percent change. Uh, looks like WTI crude position is up 1%, high of 59.5, low 58, so reaching towards $60 for oil. Uh, dollar Canadian dollar up 0.88%. We can see a high of 104.1.05, almost 1.05, a low of 1.025. Euro Aussie up, dollar yen up, also silver and gold up. Biggest change is down. We see potentially uh, dollar franc and pound Aussie, also Aussie dollar, uh, euro Canadian dollar, euro yen, euro pound. So euro took some hits probably as a result of the, um, looks like the negative change here on the federal government balance went up compared to the previous, or it went down actually. Uh, and, uh, also looks like Aussie was hurt, so Aussie gaining, losing there. So if we see anything positive for the Canadian, that could be potentially, you know, disrupting for the dollar Canadian, uh, and we also could see a uh, disruption for you know U.S. dollar trade balance. We've seen a very very big increase recently, so it could mean that if we have a very good positive announcement, it could also prove volatile for the dollar Canadian there. If we take a look at some charts. We see that euro dollar already heading upstairs uh, at a, a 1.11, uh, but we also notice a number of other assets here. We have uh, DAX uh, went down a little bit. We have looks like a high of 11, 7, 11,700 now at 11,623. FTSE at 7,000. Uh, Dow Jones it lowered to 18,000. Had a high of looks like 18,000 upper 100s. Gold at 11.88. Oil again at 59.54, reaching towards 59.7. Silver at 16.4. Pound dollar at 1.5. And dollar yen increasing at 120 and above. Wow, making a big run there. We can take a look at even some trades that we made earlier. Oop, looks like euro dollar went up a bit. But dollar yen continues to increase there as we look at the charts. It's a great, great trade heading upstairs there. So that's today's daily market announcements. I'm Ryan Fox, Chief Analyst here at Options XO. Have a great day of trading.